Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is who are you? And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 6 verse Verses 70 and 71, then Jesus replied, have I not chosen you, the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. He meant Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, who though one of the twelve was later to betray him. In our anchor scripture, Jesus had just preached a, a difficult message and many of his followers had deserted him. He turned and saw the twelve that were still with him and said, speaking of Judas, but not mentioning his name, one of you is a devil. At the time Jesus spoke these words, even Judas himself did not yet know that he would betray Jesus. Yet Jesus knew. Jesus always knows. And today my question to you is, do you know who you are? There is a version of you God knows that is different from who you know right now. Simon had no clue that he was Peter, for instance. Saul had no clue earlier in his life that he was Paul. Gideon had no clue that he was listed as a mighty man of valor. Now, more relevant to what we are discussing today, Peter had no clue that a few hours after he had felt the most confident and loyal to Jesus, that he would deny Jesus. You see, only the one who made you knows who you really are. Only the one who made you knows what you are made of and what you are capable of. You must take out time if you will be effective in God's agenda in these last days to find out who you are. We live in a busy world where so many people are working really hard to make a name for themselves. Now, hard work is very commendable, but no matter how fast you go in the wrong direction, you still will not get closer to your destination. My charge this morning is that you pause and press into God. As you press in through consistent prayer, God will begin to show you things you need to deal with before he can usher you into your glorious destiny. He may show you pride and along with what he shows you will come the grace to deal with it. He may show you dishonor in your heart. He may show you spite and malice. He may show you unforgiveness. Until you come to Jesus to find out who you really are, you may not know what lies inside of you. And until you deal with those things that are hidden, you remain a risky tool for God to use for his purposes. Stop chasing clouds. Stop seeking the accolades of men. Stop trying to make a name for yourself. Stop running from pillar to post. Pause and sit with God. Surrender to his pace. Surrender to his agenda. Surrender to his timing. Ask him to reveal who you really are and then follow the dictates of the spirit. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Father, we officially step into the 11th month of this year this morning. While we know that breakthroughs and prosperity and wealth and jobs and all such things are important. This morning, we just want to reiterate that we surrender all to you. Show us the things within us that we should deal with. And please give us the grace to deal with them. Help us to become the right version of us that you need us to be to become useful in your hands. Help us to seek you first and to seek you above the mundane things of life. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.